Welcome to On Bill TV. This is Yankar Kekrizanya Solo. You're now watching Prime Time. First, the headlights. A permanent arrest warrant was being issued against former Bihar Chief Nisar Lalu Prasad Yadav by a special court in Gwalio in Madhya Pradesh on Friday in a case related to alleged illegal purchase of arms and munitions in 1955 to 1970. Environmentalist Sonam Wanchuk on Saturday said that Leh is being turned into a war zone with disappropriation, false barricades, smoke grenades with attempts to arrest peaceful youth leaders, even singers continue. Two newborn babies were rescued by the Central Bureau of Investigation on Friday after raids carried out at various locations in Delhi in connection with suspected child trafficking. A case has been registered against Charandas Mahant, the Chhattisgarh Congress leader of opposition, over his objectionable remarks against Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a public rally. Those were the top headlines and now for the news in details. The Pumai Naga in Senapati have reaffirmed to support Ko John, the independent candidate of two outer Manipur parliamentary constituency, in the ensuing 18th Lok Sabha elections. In this regard, an emergency assembly meeting was held at Sani Dhara Memorial Sports Complex, Karong Senapati, where the House unanimously decided to extend its fuller support to Ko John, who is the longest serving president of All Naga Students Association, Manipur. The meeting was attended by Pumai village chairman, secretaries, politicians, leaders from various organizations, intellections and wishes. A resolution was earlier passed on 24 October 2023 at PNU Assembly in Koide, Bissau to support Kojon. The independent candidate speaking at the occasion expressed his gratitude and said his mission was to plant tree for the younger generation to harvest bountifully. He also said that contesting in the MP election was a long-cherished dream of the Pumai and that he was trying his best. Meanwhile, the House further resolved to appeal to all communities in the state of Manipur, particularly voters of the outer Manipur parliamentary constituency, to support and vote for Kojon. His election symbol is a trumpet. The Bhatia Janta Party in Naglan on 6 April observed its 44th foundation by day by unfurling the party's flag across the state in different districts. Excluding the eastern Naglan areas, state office bearers and out the address of the party's state president, Benjamin Yeptomi, who also unfurled the party flag at 35 Zunipoto Mandal. The Mandals under the district also participated in the program. On the occasion, the party paid homage to its founding leaders, Dr. Siyama Prasad Mukherjee and P.T. Dindayal Upadhyaya and founding president Atal Bihari Vajpayee. The party was founded on 6 April 1980. The Karyakartas of the parties were encouraged to draw inspiration from the party's rich history, to rededicate themselves to its noble cause and redouble their efforts in ensuring a resounding mandate for the party under the leadership of Narendra Modi. The party workers were also asked to strengthen the hands of central leaders by electing the PDA consensus candidate from Naglan to surpass the historic milestone of 400 seats in the Lok Sabha under slogan, Aap Ki Bar, Char Sopar. According to the party source, the state party president is currently on tour and is set to visit 32 Atoizu Mandal and proceed to 33 Shuruhoto Mandal on Saturday. The President's entourage will also tour 34 Agunato Mandal and Monday hold meetings there.
R.K. Ranjan, Union Minister of State for Education and External Affairs and BJP leader for Manipur, has been denied party ticket for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Speaking to Hornbill TV, Ranjan, however, said that he has no regret and considers himself a lucky to be part of the BJP family. He also wished uh, T.H. Basanta Kumar Singh well and said he considers Basanta as a good candidate who has a high chance of winning. It may be mentioned that the BJP gave the ticket to T.H. Basanta Kumar Singh to contest for the inner Manipur Lok Sabha seat after a lot of contemplation despite the sitting MP R.K. Ranjan being a union minister. Party sources say that Ranjan has denied, was de denied ticket due to the ethnic violence in the state fearing anti-incumbency as the party considers him as unpopular. Meanwhile, the state's Congress President K. Megachand claimed that nobody from the Safe and Party was willing to contest due to the ruling party's way of handling the violence in the state. Uh, please compare with uh, other party. Other party is a dynasty rule. Ours is a paribar, paribar, you know. We are all Modi, Modi ka paribar hai. Modi ka family member hai. In a family, the party is the decision makers. Once party decide, as a family member, I cannot silence, I cannot object, I have to obey to the party. So there is no reaction on my part. Rather, I am very happy and I am welcoming the newly uh, the selected candidate of the party. Uh, this is our culture. We don't have any distinction. It's a family. And that's why we are proud of it, of the present candidate of the Manipur Inner Parliamentary Constituency. And we pray to God and we are trying to get the momentum and we are trying to get the seat also. Sir, any uh, question about, uh, sir, any uh, new responsibility that you are looking forward to? No, still I am holding up to the new government formation. I have to uh, the, maintain my office. I have to attend office. So I attend my office regularly. And I'm doing without any disturbance. And very recently, uh, I just needed to my colleague that the external, under the external affairs minister, uh, we created the uh, collaborative work uh, in terms of universities, in terms of technology. That still we are continuing. I mean, uh, whatever I had the front, I'm still continuing my office. <laughs> The Cookie Student Union's organization has on 6th April condemned a news article on right-wing print magazine Swaraja depicting the situation of the Métis in relief camps in Manipur, saying that it misrepresented the ground reality and misleads the public with its biased narrative, denying the allegations that Cookies prevented the Métis from voting. The organization said that it was utterly false and lacks any factual basis. It has also been, it has also said that the portrayal of Métis living in squalid conditions was grossly accurate. The KSO has called on Swaraja and other media platforms to retract the article and issue a public apology for disseminating misinformation. During a time when the crucial Lok Sabha elections is just a few days away, a permanent arrest warrant has been issued against former Bihar Chief Minister Lalu Prasad Yadav by a special court in Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh on Friday in a case related to alleged illegal purchase of arms and ammunition in 1995-1997. to 1997. Mahendra Saini, Judicial Magistrate First Class of the Special Court set up to try MP and MLAs issued the permanent warrant against Lalu Yadav. Yadav, who was convicted and jailed in the fodder scam in Bihar, was released on bail in April 2021. Gwalior District Court ADPO Abhishek Malhotra said on Saturday that the District Magistrate of MP, MLA Gwalior, has issued a permanent arrest warrant against former Bihar CM Lalu Prasad Yadav. 
The matter is of the year 1995 to 1997, in which illegal arms were purchased through fake documents and the arms were supplied further. The accused in this case are from Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Bihar. Of the 23 accused, Lalu Prasad Yadav was also included and was declared absconding. Being a former CM and former minister in the government of India, the matter was transferred to MP to MLA court. माननीय विशेष न्यायिक मजिस्ट्रेट एमपी एमएलए ग्वालियर श्री मैन सैनी साहब के द्वारा आरोपी लालू प्रसाद यादव के विरुद्ध स्थायी गिरफ्तारी वारंट के आदेश जारी किए गए हैं मामला वर्ष उन्नीस सौ का है जिसमें फॉर्म नंबर 16 फर्जी दस्तावेजों के आधार पर आर्म्स डीलर से एम्यूनिशन परचेज किए गए थे और इनकी सप्लाई की गई थी इसमें आरोपी उत्तर प्रदेश मध्य प्रदेश एवं बिहार के हैं जिनके विरुद्ध पुलिस ने अनुसंधान करके कुल तेईस आरोपी गण के विरुद्ध अभियोग पत्र पेश किया था जिसमें आरोपी लालू प्रसाद यादव को फरार घोषित किया गया विचारण के दौरान माननीय विचारण न्यायालय ने यह पाया कि आरोपी लालू प्रसाद भाई हैं जो बिहार के पूर्व मुख्यमंत्री एवं भारत सरकार में पूर्व केंद्रीय मंत्री रहे ऐसी स्थिति में मामला एमपी एमएलए विशेष न्यायालय को ट्रांसफर होने पर माननीय विशेष न्यायालय के द्वारा आरोपी के संबंध में स्थायी गिरफ्तारी वारंट के आदेश जारी किए गए We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर ज्वाइन बी एस सी नर्सिंग एन जी एन एम एट सेंट मार्था इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नर्सिंग गुवाहाटी अंडर एस एम ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन घर जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़े डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट वेलकम बैक हेडिंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट न्यूज Today we delve into the intricate world of political alliance, where strategic moves can make or break the fortunes of the parties. In recent years, the BJP's alliance building efforts have been significantly shaped by the strategic acumen of none other than Amit Shah. His astute maneuvers have played a pivotal role in solidifying the BJP's coalition with various regional parties. Reflecting back to pre-2014 era, during Atal Bihari Vajpayee's leadership, the BJP-led NDA government witnessed remarkable growth marked by the inclusion of influential parties like the TMC, AIADMK, Shiv Sena and the BJD. Despite initial challenges, the NDA managed to secure a formidable position in the political landscape with the collective strength of 261 seats aided by the crucial support of the parties like the TDP. However, the journey wasn't devoid of setbacks as seen in the 2004 elections when the NDA's India Shining campaign was thwarted by the Congress-led UPA. Despite such challenges, the NDA persevered, maintaining a significant presence across various states in India. Yet, the alliance witnessed setbacks with the departure of the key partners such as BJD, JMM and AJSU alongside other like TMK, TMC, DMK, MDDMK, PMK, LJP and INLD citing reasons ranging from ideological differences to disagreement over seat sharing arrangement. Stay tuned as we explore further development and implications of this intricate political dynamics. Over the years, the National Democratic Alliance has witnessed a flux of partners with some joining forces while others chose to part ways. In a series of development, significant shifts occurred within the NDA coalition, starting with NDA alliance partner BJD, which left the alliance just over a month before the 2009 elections. 
The JMM withdrew from the alliance in 2012. Along with it, all Jharkhand Students' Union also left the alliance. The TMC was part of NDA from 1998 to 2007. It joined the Congress party led UPA before the 2009 elections. The MDMK and PMK left NDA in 2002. The Ram Vilas Paswan led LJP withdrew following the 2002 Gujarat riots and the Indian National Lok Sab Lok Dal left NDA due to seat sharing disagreement during Haryana Assembly elections 2009. This brings us to the new BJP, the Bhatia Janta Party, that came into power under Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2014. The 2014 general elections marked a significant turning point for the Bhatia Janta Party, heralding a new era of political dominance and transformative leadership. Under the dynamic stewardship of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the BJP swept to power with a historic mandate, securing an unprecedented majority in the Lok Sabha. This landslide victory reflected the resounding endorsement of the Indian electorate for the BJP's vision of progress, development and inclusive governance. With a resolute commitment to reform and revitalization, the BJP embarked on a journey to fulfill the aspirations of the nation, ushering in an era of growth, prosperity and optimism. The 2014 elections not only reaffirmed the BJP's position as a formidable political force, but also symbolized a fresh dawn for India, brimming with opportunities and possibilities. As the country embraced this new chapter in democratic journey, the BJP emerged as a beacon of hope, steering the nation towards a brighter future, filled with promise and potential. Amit Shah has been an instrumental revitalizing the Bhatia Janta Party through strategic maneuvers since assuming the role of BJP president in 2014. His multifaceted approach includes expanding the party's base in traditionally weak states, leading to significant electoral gains in regions like West Bengal and the northeastern states. Shah's emphasis on grassroots engagement, exemplified by initiatives such as the Mera Boot Sabse Mazboot campaign, has strengthened the party's support base and volunteer mobilization. Moreover, his strategic alliances and coalition building efforts have contributed to the BJP's electoral successes for forging partnerships with regional parties. Overall, Amit Shah's strategic acumen and commitment to organizational excellence have played a pivotal role in revitalizing the BJP, solidifying its status as India's dominant political force. In the transformative 2014 Uttar Pradesh election, the Bhatia Janta Party secured a remarkable victory, winning 71 out of 80 Lok Sabha seats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dynamic leadership and the party's campaign focus on development goods, governance and inclusive growth resonated strongly with voters, signaling a significant shift in the state's political dynamics. Similarly, in the 2019 West Bengal elections, the BJP made unprecedented gains by winning 18 out of 42 Lok Sabha seats, a substantial increase from its previous performance. These electoral triumphs highlight the BJP's growing influence and organizational strength in both states, showcasing its ability to connect with voters and convey its vision for progress. With strategic campaigning, strong leadership and grassroots mobilization, the BJP continues to emerge as a formidable political force, ushering in positive change and prosperity across India. Now coming to other states, Andhra Pradesh, where the BJP-led NDA government has recently entered pre-poll alliances with Chandar Babu Naidu-led Telugu Desam Party, and Pawan Kalyan's Jana Sena under the leadership of Amit Shah. In Bihar, Amit Shah orchestrated an electoral understanding with all ally Nitish Kumar and brought in Hindustan Awam Morcha of Jitan Ram Manji, Upender Kushwaha's RLJD and Mukesh Sani-led Vikashil Insan Party. Moving to Uttar Pradesh, Shah successfully persuaded Rashtriya Lord Dal, led by Jayant Chaudhary, to join forces shifting away from the Samajwadi-led opposition. Meanwhile, in Tamil Nadu, Shah strategically formed an alliance with Patali Makal Skachi and other parties like TTV Dinakaran, 
led AIADMK and Tamil Manila Congress, founded by J.K. Mupnar. Amit Shah, who is not only a senior leader but also one of the key architects behind the party's remarkable rise to power. Sri Amit Shah's strategic approach encompasses multifaceted strategy aimed at preserving and nurturing the culture, social, ethnic, caste, community and religious diversity of local populations over the long term. Engaging with smaller regional parties that hold significant sway among the specific caste of communities not only assists the ruling dispensation in consolidating support but also offers valuable insights into the economic challenges and social issues confronting these groups. Many of these regional parties have deep-seated roots within particular caste groups or garner support from other backward caste, most backward or scheduled caste. Collaborating with these regional entities presents an opportunity for the ruling party to address historical inequities and enhance the welfare of socially and economically marginalized individuals. Furthermore, by prioritizing local issues, regional aspirations and development endeavors, the central government communicates a resolute commitment to addressing the concerns of the populace. These alliances also facilitate the BJP cultivation of stronger ties with local communities as regional parties possess an intimate understanding of their linguistic and regionalist sentiments. In practical terms, BJP's partnership with parties such as Apnadal in Uttar Pradesh, which bolstered support among Kurmi voters, and the Nishat party, further solidifying Nishat votes, underscores the efficacy of this strategy. Similarly, in Jharkhand, the collaboration with the All Jharkhand Student Union, despite resulting in just one Lok Sabha seat in 2019, played a pivotal role in consolidating support from the Kushwaha voter for the BJP. That's all for the Primetime Bulletin. This is your anchor, signing off.